everybody and welcome back for week number 10. Today, before we get started, I do want you to go ahead and take a look at everything you did last week. Look at your goal that you had made. Uh, take a minute and try and decide if you met your goal this week or not. Um, I know that we go over this every week, but the idea behind that is to help just kind of reinforce every week. You need to, you need to try to reach that goal. Um, and we don't want you to fall off the wagon. I know that as the weeks go on, that it can start to get a little bit monotonous. And you feel like you're doing the same thing over and over again. Or you're not seeing the results that you had initially been seeing when you first started. Or maybe you're just kind of tired of doing it. So, take a look at how you did on your goal last week. And maybe it's time to set a whole new goal. Maybe you've set the same goal for four weeks in a row and you just have not met it ever. Um, let's look at something else. Let's kind of redirect our focus to something else that we think we might be able to change. And then you might find that in result, <clears throat> you have made progress, at least um, in the right direction for that other goal that you were trying to make. So take a look at that and then we will move on to talking about physical activity and incorporating fitness into your um, everyday routine. Okay, so today we are going to be talking about physical fitness and how to fit in fitness and why fitness matters. So we've talked about it before. Um, fitness matters because it can help prevent you from getting type 2 diabetes by, help, by you losing weight, but it can also help with lowering that blood sugar as well. Um, so other reasons too that activity is important is it can give you more energy. It can help you to be less stressed. It'll lower your risk of heart disease or um, having a stroke. It actually can also improve your balance and mobility. So the more you're doing, maybe the more agile you'll become. Um, and then it helps with your sleep and your mood overall. Um, so those are some of the benefits of exercise. But for some people, um, exercise for me helps to keep me focused during the day. Um, it helps to keep me kind of able to get my job done. So the days that I don't get physical activity, I'm a little bit more everywhere. And so physical fitness then is important for me for a different reason than it might be for you. For you, physical fitness might be your time in the day where um, it helps you to relax. And you're taking your walk at night and it kind of just helps to calm you. Um, or you might get physical activity because you're trying to get um, in shape so that you can um, pass your physical fitness test to be your firefighter. Or you might be doing physical activity for some other reason. Maybe it's you're trying to become more active so you can play more with your grandkids. Um, any of those are great reasons to be more physically active. Um, but remembering those reasons of why we're doing it. So for, um, for this program, our goal is that you're getting 150 minutes of physical activity every week. That is gonna average out to about two and a half hours a week. And so that can be broken down into many different ways. Um, that can be broken down into 30 minutes on five days of the week. That can be broken down on, um, into 10 minutes three times a day or 10 minutes two times a day. And then maybe on day seven, you do more than 10 minutes. Um, but getting that physical activity and breaking it down have, however you need to. But just making sure that when you are doing it, you're getting it into that moderate activity level. Um, so, <clears throat> if you're only doing 10 minutes at a time, that is fine. But trying to do get that heart rate up faster or trying to get that heart rate up. Um, so, your 15-minute walk might really be 10 minutes of moderate activity. So, just making sure that you are getting it into that moderate range, which is that you can talk, but you can't sing. Okay, so we have talked about the challenge of finding time to get physical activity in. Uh, we've talked about it throughout this, and so today we're going to just really focus in on how can we solve this problem of getting time to get that physical activity in, to get those 150 minutes in that are so vitally important to your health. Um, so, just like everything in life, um, it deals with our priorities. 
and trying to make physical activity a priority and trying to figure out how to be creative so that then you can get that activity in because it might be that you just need to tweak your schedule a little bit you might need to get up about 15 minutes early or it might be that you just start playing more with your grandkids that instead of watching them play um and move their trucks around the floor that you get down on the floor and you're rolling around and playing with them um because the more involved you are the more fun you're gonna have and the whole idea about physical activity is that we want you to get healthier but we also want you to have fun while doing it um, <clears throat> so the, the three big things to, um, fit more physical activity in is that you have to schedule it, that you might have to tweak your schedule and that you can always use a fitness tracker or app. So <clears throat> now that we know kind of the basics of how to theoretically get that physical activity in, how do we actually get that physical activity in? Because it's really easy to say, okay, well, I just I just need to tweak my schedule a little bit. And that might not be a reality for you at this time. So it might be that you have to schedule it in. Um, or it might be doing little things. Like when you are watching TV, that you, every time that commercial break comes on, you are getting up and you are marching in place. Or that you are lifting weights while you're watching TV. Um, other things too is, I know for me, that when I get home at night, when that TV comes on and my bottom hits the couch, I'm done. I'm not moving anymore. Do you in? Put a fork in me. I'm done. So if I don't turn that TV on, I'll keep moving and I keep doing activities and I'll keep doing things to, uh, that need to get done. But if that TV's on, nothing happens, nothing gets done. So maybe that's your life. Maybe when you turn that TV on, nothing else happens. So it might be that you tell yourself, okay, the TV is not coming on until 7.30 at night or 8 o'clock at night. And so, you're restricting that time of sedentary activity and filling it with other um, activities. And so, those other activities might not be going out for a walk, but it might just be um, vacuuming the floor or cleaning things or um, doing things with your kids or your grandkids and just moving more. The more you move, the better it is. Um, and so the goal is 150 minutes of moderate physical activity, but nobody talks about the rest of the time um, of just regular daily life activity. And increasing that as well is also helpful in burning more calories because the more we move, the more calories we're going to burn. Um, and so though that 150 minutes is really helpful for your cardiovascular <clears throat> and lowering that blood sugar, just moving more in general is good too because that will also help you to just burn more calories. Um, okay, so other things. Let's go ahead and look at our participant guide. And we're going to read about Mark today. Mark is at risk for type 2 diabetes. And his doctor um, told him he needs to get at least 150 minutes physical activity in. Moderate physical activity. Um, and he just doesn't really know how he's going to be able to fit that in because he watches his grandkids during the week. Um, then he volunteers at the library at night and, um, oh, sorry. And then on the weekends, he volunteers at the library and at nighttime, he likes to watch the TV and that's how he relaxes. That's how he unwinds. Um, and so he has to figure out how to, that he can make some of the, some changes. So what Mark decides to do is. Um, he decides to get up 30 minutes early to go for a walk before the kid, grandkids come over. Um, and then he's also started lifting weights or marching in place while he watches TV at night. And then um, he's also started playing soccer with the grandkids. So Mark has found three different creative ways to um, increase his physical activity during the week. Uh, so, the thing that I really like is that he is being creative. It doesn't have to be soccer that you're playing with your kids, but it could be tag. Um, you play five minutes of tag, and you might be so winded and exhausted, um, but that movement you just got is high-intensity activity. So, that's really good. Um, but other things, too, that you can do is um, those lifting weights or marching in place. Those are really easy things that you can do while watching TV. 
Um, but if you look at page four, five, six, and seven, um, these are tips for fitting in fitness. And some of these things are just creative. It might be making things take a little bit longer, um, but it's getting you more physical activity. So walking your dog, washing your car, um, sweeping or mopping the floor, um, going shopping. This time of the year, it's Christmas time. Everybody is uh, going to the mall. So going to the mall might be um, a great idea for physical activity for you. You could people watch a little bit. Um, you can even go to the mall early before it opens and you can walk around the inside of the building. So that's another idea of ways to get more physical activity. Um, if you are still working, um, other ways to get more physical activity might be to take walks on your lunch break or if you're watching like a webinar and your face isn't on the screen. Um, you, I like to stand and I'll march in place or I'll walk while the webinar is happening or if I'm on a conference call, um, because you can listen while you're walking. I could stand here the whole time and have a conversation with you um, and still be able to pay attention to what's going on. So that's another way that you can get more physical activity without even knowing um, that you're doing it. And a lot of times we're on a conference call or um, a webinar for 30 to 45 minutes. If you march in place the entire time, that you're having that 30 to 45 minute webinar, you are going to have just walked for 30 minutes. Um, that right there, there's your 30 minute walk for the day. So that's a creative way to get that physical activity in. Um, fitness trackers are also a nice thing. They'll, mine will tell me that I need to move if I haven't moved often enough. Um, or it'll tell me how much activity I've gotten for the day. And so maybe I've sat and I haven't gotten my 30 minutes of activity in for the day. So that might be another thing that it will keep track of. Whew. Um, other things too are to fit fitness in while you socialize. If you have a really good friend that you like to hang out with once or twice a week, take a 30 minute walk with him or with Christmas time coming around a lot of times we will all sit inside and watch TV together or we'll sit inside and chat we'll sit inside and um, do activities but we're all just kind of sitting we eat then we sit then we eat and then we sit so maybe instead of eating and sitting think of different games that you can play with your family maybe it's going on a scavenger hunt um, across town that would be really fun um, or Maybe you guys all go outside and you play football or you play basketball um, or you take the kids to the park if it's in the 50s and it's a nice day and you play with them while they're on the park. Maybe you're playing on the play playground with them rather than just standing and watching. Um, or maybe you take the kids um, somewhere that they have a asphalt ground and you put them on their tricycle and you walk around and they ride their tricycle. So we're all getting more activity in. Um, taking a fitness class is always really great. Talk on the friend, talk on the phone um, with your friend while you're walking. I, if I'm on the phone, I really enjoy having uh, walking around. So that's another way. If you do have a desk job, um, other things you can do is talk to your get up and talk to your coworkers in person rather than sitting down at an email or sending them an email. Um, Joining a gym that's halfway in between your workplace and your house, so then it's convenient. It's already on the way. That's one easy way to add in some activity. Um, and then just taking breaks with your coworkers as well. Okay, guys. So pretty much our lesson for today. Um, I know short, sweet, and to the point, but you guys know we've been working on this, on getting, increasing those physical activity minutes. Um, and what I'm starting to see is that we are 10 weeks in and it's getting hard. Um, it's getting hard because of the time of the year. You start off and you're really excited, but now we are halfway through this. 
um, over halfway through this. And it is Christmas time, and it is hard. Um, last week, I know for the teachers, it was maybe it was finals week or grades are due. So, that's really hard um, to have extra time to spend on doing exercise. But, if you are off this week, go and get some physical activity and uh, get a little bit more exercise in. Um, but, for those of us that are, are still working, um, still trying to figure out creative ways that when... You are off work for maybe those four or five days over the next few weeks that you are getting a little bit extra physical activity in okay so go ahead and set and pull out your action plan journal um, and let's make a new action plan making sure that when you set that goal it's realistic it's doable specific and flexible and um, remember to focus on the behaviors and just trying to, what can you do to make that change, okay? So go ahead and take a few minutes and do that. Alrighty, so <clears throat> um, this is gonna be week number 10. Our videos for week 11 and week 12 will also be on the computer. So, um, be waiting and looking for my emails. I'll be sending you some physical activity. I'm going to try to make them from the Fitness Blender website because I think that website is awesome. So, give me some feedback on if you like it, if you tried it, what you thought about it, whatever you want. Um, and I hope you have a great Christmas. And I will see you I guess I'll do it next Monday. So Christmas won't happen yet, um, but it will be really close. So go ahead and have a great week. Uh, try to get more physical activity and figure out those ways to get it in. And I will see you soon. Bye.